Thank you. Lovely to see you. Thank 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 uh, Ken was a great Brisbane identity, a great tennis player, but also a great bloke and a person who, through his friendship with Chuck Feeney, also made a remarkable impact for the greater good around medical research, not only here in Brisbane, but throughout Australia. Um, I'm joined here today by Ken's son, Julian, and Ken's partner uh, in Kathy Craig, and it's great to have them here as uh, part of a a bit of a fan club, I suppose we could say, of Ken Fletcher, including Hugh Lunn, who wrote the book The Great Fletch. Uh, this parkland is 2.9 hectares of riverfront parkland, and uh, we have developed this as an all abilities playground. It is a facility that has an amphitheatre, which has access for non motorised boats to the river, uh, and it is one which I believe will have a great use for the people of Brisbane over many, many years to come. Uh, it's a fitting tribute to Ken Fletcher. Uh, it's a fitting tribute to, on day one of the Brisbane International, be able to undertake this unveiling. I think uh, Ken, who passed away in 2006 from cancer, would have been extremely proud that Brisbane got this Brisbane International tournament up and going in his home city. Uh, but he also, I think, uh, would have a smile on his face to know that uh, this park will be enjoyed by so many, particularly children in our city, over the years to come. Uh, it's a great uh, privilege to be able to be here with Ken Laffey, also the, the president of Queensland Tennis, and uh, tennis greats from the past. We've got in the, the background here to celebrate and acknowledge uh, Ken Fletcher, uh, people of uh, winners of Wimbledon. We've got uh, great coaches and administrators of the game of tennis in our city, and uh, we welcome all of them here today. It's pleasing to be able to provide this or for the work that he did after his career? Yeah, well, I mean, Ken, for whatever reason, I don't think got the accolades that he deserved. Um, I mean, to win the Grand Slam and doubles with Margaret Court, to go on and win 10 doubles finals with Margaret, mm -hmm. almost an unbeatable team. But also, what's not widely known about Ken Fletcher is that he was in the final of three Wimbledons in a row, where he just narrowly defeated on each occasion. Uh, it would have been one of his great loves, I guess, to have won Wimbledon, but Look, he ought to be recognised. Uh, he's a homegrown boy who made good, and not only in the world of tennis, but also, as they say, through his friendship with Chuck Feeney, uh, which brought a greater good to this city and this country. So we say to Ken Fletcher, job well done, and it's great that we have been able to recognise your work, not only in tennis, but in the broader community, and uh, to make this parkland available in your honour and name. Yeah, well, that's right. Well, this area, like so many parts of riverfront land in Brisbane, did flood. Um, but it's, it's great to be able to turn it into a parkland. I mean, the fact that it may flood every so often uh, is uh, not, I think, relevant. What, what's important here uh, is that we have a wonderful parkland, a river piece of land. They don't come along too often. And uh, it was great that we were able to capture this land, have it developed as a parkland, and today honour Ken Fletcher by naming it Ken Fletcher Park. Well, you know, the Brisbane International has a direct benefit to our economy of around $4 million, but what's important is the indirect benefit, the fact that Brisbane is being telecast through many countries around the world through the Brisbane International, and the tourism value against that is hard to, to quantify, but to say that anything we can do to get Brisbane, Australia, out there and identified is got to be a big economic plus for our city. There's a few issues with parking last year. You're hopeful and looking at it so far that more people are taking their on board and using public transport. Well, the message is fairly simple, that any big event uh, attracts a lot of vehicles. There are always uh, parking restrictions around those uh, major venues, and public transport is the safe and convenient way to go. What other parking restrictions? Well, there, it is a uh, local residence uh, restricted area, and that's uh, similar to what we have at Suncorp Stadium and at the Gabba. Uh, so during Brisbane International, the major events here, uh, we do have a resident permit system. 
Uh, so it is wise for people, if you're coming out to the Brisbane International, to take public transport or to get dropped off uh, because parking is extremely low.